take uh, brown bread and today we are going to use the gobi aloo that was lying this much only so what we are going to do we are going to increase the ratio of the gobi aloo this much only how we are going to make cheese patty with cheese amul cheese slices taking three um, tomatoes some coriander leaves one chili and tiny tiny onion okay not much just very tiny baby onion we will take and we are going to chop it fine and add it to the gobi aloo that is left over okay so we are going to make tasty aloo gobi cheese patty if you don't want to add cheese then you can take it in the tiffin also because if you add the cheese cubes then you have to have it warm otherwise you can just avoid using the amul cheese you can avoid the amul cheese if you want to take it into the tiffin okay if you are having it fresh then you can take gooey cheese with it here we have finally chopped the baby onion green chilies and coriander now in a bowl just add the coriander and we are adding the onions and green chilies here are the tomatoes we are going to de-seed the tomato here we have taken out the pulp of the tomato and we are just going to chop it see we have chopped the tomato now to the mixture i am going to add the chopped tomatoes chop them fine and then what we are going to do we are actually increasing the ratio of the quantity of the vegetable that is gobi aloo and with the fresh tomatoes and onion and green chilli here this batter you can just mash it a bit with the spoon itself and see it has lots of oil i don't need to add any butter so but in the patty maker you can add little dice of butter or little oiling you can do outside the dough so that it doesn't stick although it is non stick for only name after certain time the patty maker starts sticking so here or you can add a little bit dash of oil if you like inside so i'm adding the see i have added the whole of the gobi aloo the less but the quantity will increase a beautiful mixture of three tomatoes and tiny onion don't add much onion okay if you want to keep it for some time don't add onion because onion is one thing that leaves water and uh, it just spoils it all the smell starts coming if you want to keep it in the fridge then just add only tomatoes green chilies and coriander but if you are going to consume it at a go then definitely add uh, half a big onion or a baby onion because it's really crunchy and it's really tasty so now here depending on how much cheese you want to have i take half a cheese slice in one uh, patty so accordingly to your wish you can just add cheese either you mix it here but you will take it directly to the patty maker so this is my sunflame 750 watts uh, sunflame you can see uh, patty maker here even though it is non stick still you can see it is having some stickiness here clean it so here at a go we can make two patties so we will add the material nicely uh, evenly distribute the tomatoes and the mixture of the vegetable don't add too much vegetable uh, sabzi and neither too much tomatoes keep a balance while you are putting the material so here you see so much beautiful it is so so here make sure the corners are all covered you have something in the corner this is one cheese slice i have halved it so i'm going to again uh take some slice out this is half cheese and the rest of half i'm going to put on the second patty see how beautiful the colors are i don't know why the flash is just flashing so now so now to this either you can add it like this or without cheese but sometimes now it start sticking so what you're going to do amul butter okay taste of india so here you will take dash of butter see i'm taking only this much butter i'm going to divide it 
so like this we are just adding little dash of butter so that it doesn't stick on the edges of the patty maker that's it and then again close it and then we are going to keep it in the patty maker so it doesn't stick on the sides and just keep so here our patties are done see here little bit butter so it won't stick here okay because we've put cheese so it chances are that it sticks so we are going to close the patty maker in old days in 1979 and all who were born children then uh, like me we people have seen the old patty makers where our mothers used to put oil on the outside of the patties here refined oil and then they used to make patties i think that really holds good if you're not using butter you can just dash a little bit of oil outside the patties but i'm adding the butter so it will ooze out the oil will ooze out so i'm going to close the patty maker so we have switched on and it's going to get cooked in another five minutes see here one uh, light has switched off and the you can see the steam coming out close it and i'm going to open it in front of you wow they are done see they are not sticking much only the cheese because it was open from here what i'm talking about it's not sticking above okay so how to take it out just take the knife and see it's all done it's not sticking it's hot see, on both the side the oil is oozing out it's not sticking reason being that i had uh, put a dash of uh, butter so you see the butter is oozing out and it's not sticking see it's not stuck so i learned it very later that you have to add this otherwise it will be stick and this is my second patty maker and in patty maker also there are lots of quantity see here this is a good quality otherwise there are wires here little careful it you have to be and here from back behind also it's good wiring Make sure that you are not taking loose wiring one and you are taking a good patty maker. It costed me I think around 14 or 1500 sun flame but it's worth it. You know initially 1 or 2 rupees and 200 rupees extra doesn't matter. But uh, the safety no wiring you can see here is must. So this is beautiful cheese patty. I will just cut it and show you. So here I have cut the patty you can see with the knife and beautiful cheese you can see easy and it is really really yummy. See how beautiful the patty is and if you are putting cheese then make sure that you have it warm at a go and uh, you don't uh, take it in the tiffin because if you take in the tiffin don't add cheese then also it is yummy. So this is beautiful fresh gobi aloo patty and it is not uh, boring old so it's very very fresh. So do try making gobi aloo patty with less quantity of gobi aloo and more quantity of tomatoes that is what I do even if there are more gobi aloo I tend to increase the ratio of the tomatoes and the onion and the green chili and uh, freshly cut coriander so do try your gobi alu if they are left just try to make patties the next day thank you have it with warm tea so enjoy your patties